Hi, it's Warren here from Overexposed 360. A lot of you out there have your base tripod logo on your 360 videos looking something like this, but wish you could customize it into something more like this. Fortunately, it's not that hard to do, but you'll need access to Photoshop and it will have to be done in post editing. In this video, I will show you how to prepare your own logo to be added into your 360 videos and photos. First, you'll need your circular logo ready for use in Photoshop. I have created mine on a canvas that is 4096 pixel by 4096 pixel to ensure best quality when inserting it into the 4K videos. Also, make sure the surrounding space around your logo is transparent. You'll need to rotate the image by 180 degrees. This will ensure the logo is facing the viewer when they look down from the default point of view. Next is to alter the logo into echo rectangular format to match your stitched output 360 video. To do this, go to filter, then distort, and then polar coordinates. Make sure polar to rectangular is selected. And it should come back looking like some alien written language, so it's a bit funny, but this is what we'll need. In order for this to appear correctly on a 360 video, we'll need to rotate it back by 180 degrees. And that's basically it. It's almost ready to be inserted into your 360 videos or photos. Now we'll need to resize the image to fit the video or the photo. And to do this, you go to Image, Image Size. Since my logo is already set to 4096 pixel, we just have to change the height of it. Make sure you uncheck the Constraint Proportion checkbox so you can change the width and height independently of each other. For 4K videos, you should set the image size to be 4096 by 315 and for photos, the logo size should be 7200 by 554 pixels. To make it easier to insert the logo into a 360 video, I normally create the logo template onto a canvas which is the same size of the 4K video. So in this case, it is the canvas size of 4096 by 2048 pixels. This will allow the logo to be inserted directly into the video without any mucking around with the placement of the logo in the correct spot in the video. So let's open up Final Cut Pro and let's see how to insert the logo into a 360 video. As you can see, I've already added the two logos, one by itself and the other logo pre-formatted in 4K canvas size into my Final Cut Pro assets. Let's begin a new project. We'll just call it base logo test or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. Let's insert a 360 video into this project. First, we'll insert the simple logo into this project. As you can see, it inserts nicely, but it is not at the bottom of the video. So we'll need to maneuver it into position, which is not too hard. And I'm sure you can just change the Y coordinates to get it there, but it still requires the mucking about and make sure that it is in the right spot. Now let's insert the logo already pre-formatted to match the full size of the video. It drops into the video perfectly and already positioned in the correct spot at the bottom of the screen. Both methods will give you the same result. I just prefer the second option to make it slightly easier for myself. Let's export this and check the output of this video. As you can see, both the first and second method produce the same output and it fits perfectly as the base logo for the 360 video. Adding a base logo to your 360 photos is done pretty much exactly the same way as adding it to a 360 video. The only difference is the size and resolution of the logo image required to match the 360 photo size as compared to a 360 video. The standard full size photos on a Samsung G360 camera is 7200 by 3600 pixels. So let's resize the logo image to be 7200 pixels wide. This time make sure you select the Constraint Proportion checkbox so that it will increase the size of the logo proportionately. And just copy the logo and paste it into the photo and position it to the bottom of the image. And that's it. Here's the result of the photo when viewed in 360. So that's it from this video. Hope it's been useful for you in learning how to put a base logo onto your 360 video or photos. Um, if you like what you've seen here, please subscribe or comment on our YouTube channel. Um, until next time, is Warranty from Overexposed 360. Catch you again soon.